In this movie, I'm going to use the data set from this survey of the 16th hole of a golf course to show you some other methods for extracting data from a survey in order to make a surface. This is a special case, and I'll explain why that is in the Active Coordinate Editor. This golf course was close to sea level, and if I sort my points by elevation, you'll see that a number of the points were below zero, or below sea level, and uh, some of the points were above, and that introduces a special case that should be looked at here. The thing that makes it special is that MicrosurveyCAD by default is set up to filter out any elevations that are below two units in elevation. Um, the reason for that is that 2D line work and uh, text is usually drawn at zero elevation, so normally you'd want to filter those out. But if your survey is close to sea level, you need to use some more advanced settings. So I'm going to turn off the filter by Z feature, and I'm going to turn on filter by entity. I'll select OK. Now this setting will be retained during this work session. If I go to extract a surface now, it's going to ask me for a name for my surface. I'll pick OK, and now it prompts me what types of entities you want to use to create your surface. So here I'll tell it I just want to use points. I'll select, and now I can say OK. And so this allows me to window in all of my lines, all of my points, and all of my text, and hit Enter, and now it'll only use the point nodes to create a surface. Now I'll want to extract uh, breaks to, my sa to this same surface. I'll add them to the ground surface. In this case, I will reset and I'll tell it I want to use polylines. I'll say OK there, window in everything, and enter. OK, and so now it's recognized the items that are polylines and it's added them to my surface. If I go into Surface Operations, I can see that I've created a surface. I can look at its detailed information, and there we can see that the Z range goes from negative 0.4 all the way up to about 5.5. Now, let me show you an alternative way of selecting elevation data from points for creating a surface. And so to do that, first I'm going to go to Surface Operations, and I'm going to delete that ground surface. Now before I showed you the Active Coordinate Editor from the Points ribbon, let me open that up again. Because another handy thing that you can do with the Active Coordinate Editor is you can select all of the points that are in your database, and then under Edit, I can tell it to add the selection to the DTM surface. So here I can tell it I want to create a surface called ground. I'll pick OK. And when I close it, down there in the command line I can see the same thing that happened before. It's added 1,267 points to my surface. So I've got a surface in memory and I could just add my breaks to it using the other method and save my surface. Thanks a lot for your interest in this movie.